Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Archer makes a trio of major announcements. U.S. Coast Guard detects 16 unauthorized UAF during Seattle Seafair event. And Vertical Aerospace VX4 eVTOL suffers flight testing mishap. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Archer makes a trio of major announcements. Archer Aviation has secured a $215 million equity investment from Stellantis, an American-Italian-French multinational automotive manufacturing corporation, Boeing, United Airlines, and a number of financial institutions, including ARK Invest. The capital infusion boosts Archer's total to date funding to over $1.1 billion. Furthermore, the FAA has granted Archer approval to commence flight testing of its midnight eVTOL aircraft. Additionally, Archer has reached an agreement with Boeing and WISC, by which the three concerns will enter into an autonomous flight collaboration and settle pending litigation. Finally, Archer announced it is on track to complete what the company's management believes will be the first ever eVTEL aircraft delivery to a customer. These announcements came on the heels of former acting FAA Administrator Billy Nolan leaving the agency to assume the position of Archer's Chief Safety Officer and the DoD awarding Archer the largest total contract value to date of any eVTEL manufacturer. Funds from the described investment round are to be used for working capital and general corporate purposes, including Archer's ongoing development of its aircraft and related technologies, as well as the build-out of the eVTOL maker's manufacturing and test facilities. And after the break, NASA SpaceX Crew-7 personnel commence pre-flight preparations. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. NASA SpaceX Crew-7 personnel commence pre-flight preparations. On Friday, August 18, 2023, crew members slated to ascend spaceward aboard NASA's SpaceX Crew-7 mission will enter the requisite period of quarantine by which spaceflight is preceded, thereby attaining a pre-launch milestone. Upon completion of the ordeal, which NASA has named Health Stabilization, the four crew members will head to the Florida launch site from which the mission will depart for the ISS. The process of flight crew health stabilization comprises a compulsory two-week quarantine period intended to ensure spacefarers are healthy prior to their mission. USMC Brass visits Archer's California facilities. Archer Aviation has showcased its midnight eVTOL platform to a group of high-ranking U.S. Marine Corps officers. The USMC's visit to Archer's California facilities comes on the heels of an announcement that the eVTOL maker had broadened its working relationship with DoD by means of a newly signed $142 million contract under which Archer will provide the U.S. Air Force data pertaining to flight testing and pilot training, share certification-related test reports, and help the service develop maintenance and repair operations under its AFWorks Agility Prime program. India cracks down on Chinese-made drone components. Citing security concerns, officials of India's Ministry of Defense have prohibited Indian manufacturers of military drones from using components made in China. A group of Indian defense and industry officials set forth the country's intelligence and security agencies collectively posited Indian intelligence gathering efforts could be compromised by Chinese-made parts in drones, communications arrays, cameras, radio transmissions, and operating software. 
India's concerns vis-a-vis -vis the security risks inherent Chinese drones and Chinese-made drone components are shared by numerous Western governments. Parazero receives repeat order from major automotive manufacturer. Parazero announced a leading automotive manufacturer had placed its second order for Parazero Safe Air UAS safety system. The repeat order follows a previous agreement entered into by the automotive OEM and Parazero for the development of a bespoke safety solution for the carmaker's proprietary UAS program. Moreover, the new agreement calls for the design stage integration of Parazero's Safe Air drone safety system into a proprietary aircraft being developed by the automotive manufacturer. Well, that was our next gen minute. Now back to the rest of the news. U.S. Coast Guard detects 16 unauthorized UAS during Seattle Seafair event. The Coast Guard employed counter unmanned aircraft systems capabilities in collaboration with the FAA, Seattle PD, and Mercer Island PD to enforce FAA issued temporary flight restrictions over Lake Washington during 2023 Seafair Weekend Festival in support of the event's constituent air show. Seattle residents generally associate Seafair with the Torchlight Parade, Seafair Cub Hydroplane Races, and performances by the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels Flight Demonstration Squadron. 2023 marked the first year in which USCG counter UAS measures have been employed at Seafair. Throughout the event, the Coast Guard detected 16 UAS operators violating airspace restrictions during the H-1 Unlimited hydroplane races and Boeing Air Show. Officers from SPD and MIPD were able to contact eight UAS operators and provide education on airspace restrictions as well as safe UAS operations. One operator was cited for reckless endangerment by the Seattle PD. Coast Guard Incident Commander for Seafair, Commander Scott McGrew, stated, quote, Unauthorized UAS can be extremely dangerous to airshow pilots as well as spectators. Our robust partnership with the FAA, Seattle Police, and Mercer Island PD is vital to ensure unauthorized UAS operators are intercepted and educated on safe operations and reminded of the FAA temporary flight restrictions in place to support the airshow, end quote. And after these messages, Vertical Aerospace VX4 eVTOL suffers flight testing mishap. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Vertical Aerospace VX4 eVTOL suffers flight testing mishap. Vertical Aerospace has confirmed that its VX4 eVTOL prototype had suffered a mishap during a test flight at Gloucestershire, England's Cotswold Airport. The company set forth in its SEC filing, quote, Our flight test program is designed to establish the limits of the aircraft's performance, and the incident occurred during an uncrewed test of the aircraft's maneuverability during a motor failure test scenario, which is the key requirement to progress to crewed operations, end quote. In a recent letter to shareholders, Vertical Aerospace asserted it has made great strides in its flight test program this quarter, including the conduct of the VX4's first untethered flights. The shareholder letter stated, quote, The aircraft lifted, hovered, flew, and landed all by the thrust of its electric propulsion system and powered only by Vertical's proprietary battery packs, end quote. Vertical Aerospace further stated the test aircraft had carried out 18 takeoffs and landings and reached its target thrust borne speed of 40 knots. Vertical Aerospace's VX-4 is a piloted eVTOL aircraft ostensibly capable of transporting four passengers and a pilot over a distance of 86 nautical miles at speeds of up to 173 knots. The VX-4 is intended to operate from confined urban locations and is, according to its manufacturer, quote, safer than and 100 times quieter than a conventional helicopter, end quote. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.